Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today I wanted to talk about the Athlon 2. Yes, the Athlon is back. The X2250. This one here is a dual core processor built from the ground up, 3 gigahertz compared to other processors. This one here is a 45 nanometer technology with 2 megs of total level 2 cache. It is an AM3 processor though, but it will fit on your AM2 Plus motherboard if it supports it. 234 million transistors approximately on there and the voltage all the way up to 1.425 volts so you can overclock it of course here's my dragon test system that I'm going to be installing this processor on as you can see all quality parts most of these I've reviewed already in my other videos so you can check those out if you're interested on any of these parts and uh, here we are in Windows 7 Ultimate 64 bit and uh, I've got the defaults I did not overclock the processor yet so these are the default values as you can see for this CPU, 3 gigahertz, and uh, the level 2 cache there as you can see, and uh, the voltage is at 1.3, uh, 1.32. Here's the motherboard, right, and here is the um, video card settings, just in case if you're wondering what the video uh, card clock speeds are at. And the memory, of course, I did not overclock the memory yet, so these are the defaults uh, memory timings as per the manufacturer. So, and also, by the way, this chip does work with DDR2 so if you have uh, an older motherboard it will work with that so that's great don't throw away your RAM let's uh, do some uh, benchmarks here on the stability testing so stress testing here at 3 gigahertz at the defaults 100% load it's 32 degrees Celsius okay so that's pretty sweet you can overclock this obviously higher because the maximum temperature that this CPU supports is 65 uh, watts sorry and uh, the temperature is about 70 so we are well clear of 70 degrees Celsius for this 65 watt um, CPU so let's go ahead and overclock it and um, run some benchmarks on the temperatures as well on that one so I did increase the uh, memory timings a little bit here and also we increased the processor to 3.375 and uh, at idle it's 32 degrees Celsius and at full load we're talking about 40 degrees Celsius so about 10 10 degrees Celsius difference when I overclocked it so so you get an idea there and we could probably push this even further without any problems but running the benchmarks at this smooth 3.375 gigahertz you've got here the 3d mark 06 scores so if you're interested on the 3d mark 06 scores there they are here are the 3d vantage scores and the CPU score did not change when I ran it on performance or high so there is the CPU score it's consistent and then of course I ran some other synthetic tests with Everest and PC mark just to see where does this processor fall under what is it compared to when you run CPU tests right so uh, obviously it's going to be faster than older Intel Core 2 duos it's going to be faster than the uh, previous Athlons but when I ran the PC Mark, I got a really good idea on recent processor, more recent um, chips to compare against other than, than the Everest uh, processors that it shows right here, okay? Because these ones are a little bit older. So when we run the PC Mark Vantage, we really see the Athlon 2X2 is faster than the older Athlon, faster than the Intel Core 2 Duo E8400, but not as fast as the Q8400 and the uh, Phenom 2 of course so but then again for the price you can't go wrong on this one I'm, I'm telling you so let's run some benchmarks on the games here so you can see an, an idea on the frames per second how well this chip works with the 4870 with the timings that I had full-blown settings of course at 1680 times 1050 on all the games for consistency so you can see here you get a good idea I had enabled the anti-aliasing of course at 4AA or higher depending on the games just to see how how well it works with the uh, with the GPU that I had installed and uh, see see if it can keep up with the frame frames per second so you can see here Tom Clancy 90 frames per second max 50 second 56 not bad for an $80 chip right so if you're looking for $80 or less this CPU is really gonna give you a lot of bang for the buck and uh, as you saw from the temperature readings this thing doesn't use a lot of uh, a lot of energy compared to other processors so it's definitely a good one to get if you're planning on overclocking and taking it up to the next level for, for a low price. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.